How to use the time stretcher. Today's video is sponsored by the guy we are not allowed to talk about. Open your clip in the Fusion page, make sure that you are in the first frame, and add a time stretcher node. Grab your first node and drag it to the left viewer, so that you can use that one as a reference. By default the keyframe animation for the source time value is activated. Go to the last frame and use the value of that frame for the source time. In my case it's 353. Go to the frame where you want to start your effect, and add a keyframe for the source time. Go few frames forward and bring the source time wheel down, use the right viewer to monitor the changes. Go few frames forward again, and bring the source time wheel up to the same frame that you started before. Now you get this rewind effect. Move some frames forward, depending on how long you want your slow-mo to be, and adjust the source time value to set it to the frame where you want to end your slow-mo. Go a couple of frames forward again, and use this current frame as the source time. Now that you successfully made your speed ramp, you'll notice that the slow-mo part is very ugly. Change the interpolation mode to flow, and check the clamp edges box. In order for this to work, you need to bring an optical flow node, and add it before the time stretcher. Open the advanced menu, and play around with the sliders to find out what works best for you. If you like this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, Big Tech is not interested about your feelings.